Let me tell you who's swimming in this first event. In lane number one is Abby Nardella. They are out of the blocks and swimming. This first, first event is heat one of two. This is the consolation final. She finished up and now finishing up the heat is N Abby Nardella here in lane one from George Fox swim team. This is the finish of the heat. You can see how they stacked up by time there and then it'll be calculated by scores. She's an S7 swimmer as well. So we'll have an S7 battle there in lane two, five and six. Lane seven, Abby Nardella. And there they go. They're gonna blast down the pool here and we'll just see who gets there first. She's already put uh, Danielle, it looks like she's put Danielle at her hips now at her, at the more than a body length behind her. In 32-20 followed by Danielle Doris in 34-33. 37-74 for Tessa Routafi. Yep. But uh, that's, that's a long first day. The women take their position here. They're getting their gear ready. In lane two, Abby Nardella. There they go. We'll see who gets a good advantage underwater first. And it's our two swimmers in the middle of the pool. That's Momo Sutton and Maria Franceschetta. They're pressing a good, long, steady stroke. Looks like everybody's doing that. So they both went faster than they did this morning, so they've got to be happy with that. In lane three, we've got Colleen Coletta. which is a little bit faster than this morning where she was 241.5. So we had a lot of times in that race that were faster than this morning. In lane six, Abby Nardella, she's 17, S6. There's a lot more strategy in this race than just swim really hard until you hit the wall at the other side. Um, you'll see a lot of acceleration right out of the start and then a great 50 freestyler will try to maintain their stroke speed and their stroke length through the middle of the pool, trying to do minimal breathing if they have any imbalances in their stroke. It looks like our leader here is out in lane, either three or four, lunges in there, Casey Freeman. Boy, did I call that when they were standing behind the blocks. Keep an eye on that Casey Freeman. She was 36.58, first place in that heat, followed right behind her by Grace Lockwood in 36.79. So just about two tenths separated them. We've got in lane one, Abby Nardella. Hannah Sloan was the fastest seed in the morning for this heat. She was a 3.24, which is uh, three or four seconds faster than everybody else. Now you've got a, a look at the whole pool there with the whole field coming back at us. That was Liberty Freeman out in front at the 50, and she is continuing to hold that lead. She's at 130.16, followed by Hannah Sloan at 132.45. It looks like Hannah may be doing a little bit of catching up here on the breaststrokes. We can see in, in lane two there, she takes two or three strokes before she come up for, comes up for a breath. Same with uh, Liberty Freeman. She was 327. She swam 322 tonight. So outstanding, outstanding 200 IM for these women. Lane three there, 334. That is Julia Hickson. She was 332 this morning. Lanes two and seven are 334 and 337. Looks like everybody is coming in faster than they did this morning. You see you have Megan Giafrida, who was 349 this morning, went 344. So it looks like everybody went faster in that race.